Hey guys, it's Erin with Happily We Go, and if you'd like to see how I created this super cute little voodoo pin cushion, then just keep watching. Alright, so we're going to start off with some duck cloth here. You could use canvas, but I'm going to use what I have on hand. And then we're going to grab these adorable stitched doll stencils from Wonderstrup and Stencils. And I will link her Etsy shop down in the description box below. You get two of these super cute little stitched doll dudes. And this is the 6x6. It does also come in a 12x12. 12 12. Now I'm going to grab some stays on Jet Black ink. And of course my favorite, the makeup sponge. And we're just going to sponge the ink on through the stencil. I'm not being super careful with how I'm putting the ink down. As you can see where my nail digs in a little bit deeper, it's making it darker in some spots. But I'm kind of digging that look and I think it's going to give it a great effect. And the big reveal, ta-da! Isn't he so cute? I just love him like this. So I'm going to heat set this a little bit. This will also help the stays on ink dry as it does take a little while to dry. Alright, now that we have him together, look at that. I'm going to fold over the duck cloth because it's gonna make it easier to cut the back side. They'll, they'll be matching sides. And I'm gonna grab just a straight pin here and pin it through. That way it'll make it easier to cut out. I'm going to leave about a quarter inch around the entire guy. I'm not really sure how I wanted to sew it yet, but just eyeball it and go around the whole guy. And then when you get to that folded part, you're just gonna slide your scissors in between the two sections and snip. Now you got two pieces that match. Now, in hindsight, I probably could have kept these on, but I thought it would make it a cute effect. So what I'm doing here, I'm off camera, I apologize. I'm snipping off my little stitch dude's legs. Boop, there's one, and then we'll go ahead and do the other one. So now we have our little cute dude. I'm gonna take the straight pin out and we're just gonna work with the top part. I loved his little stitching, so what I did was I ran it through the machine with some super cute like red fluorescent, and I did it three times up and down. So here's the thread. And now what I'm going to do is hand sew the side stitches. So I'll just go up, as you can see that one, we'll just come up the one side and go over the other side. And I'm gonna continue that all the way through my entire little voodoo and then do his legs as well. So now he's all stitched up. Doesn't he look so cute? And then I've got his little legs here too. Now I'm thinking I want to do something with this little heart. So I have this um, scrap piece of old t-shirt, some red t-shirt material, and we're gonna bring back our stencil. But this time I wanna use the bigger heart. So as you can see, we'll bring back little guy here. The bigger heart fits exactly over the top of the other heart. It's a little bit bigger. So we're gonna grab, I'm just gonna take a black colored pencil here. I think it's a watercolored pencil, but hey, it's what I had on hand. I'm gonna go down to the edges because I save all of my scraps. So, you know, waste not, want not. And I'm just gonna trace around the heart. And there we go. Now we have the little heart and we'll go ahead and cut that out with the scissors and I'm going to cut it directly on the line. And we will try it on and it's a perfect fit. Now I'm going to want to sew this heart onto my little guy. You could hand sew it if you wanted to, but I'd like to use my machine and putting a straight pin through there is going to be a little difficult. So I'm going to show you a trick. Grab a glue stick. It doesn't matter what glue stick. I'm just using Elmer's here and you're going to stick that onto one side of the fabric and then press it on down to where you want it to hold into place. So here we'll just press it on down. And then we're going to go ahead and heat set it just a little bit and this is going to help dry it some and this will hold it into place. You won't need straight pins or anything and it'll be super easy to sew it on down. And now it's all sewn on and I did a little bit of a decorative loop in the middle there and we're going to go ahead and trim all of our excess strings all around. So we'll snip it from the front and then just trim some of the strings that are hanging off of the back. It'll make it easier for the next step. Oh, 
All right, now that Voodoo's all trimmed up, we're gonna take his backside and we're going to line them up and then take a straight pin, pop it through, and we're gonna sew around the outside of our little guy. And with the power of technology, he's all sewn up. I left a hole at the bottom and these lines are not straight people. I am not a professional seamstress. He's gonna be super cute with all his little imperfections. So I have this old pillow in my house. It's all lumpy and it's not comfortable anymore. So I've ripped it open and I've pulled the stuffing out and I have stuffed our little voodoo and his two legs. If you have an issue getting it into his arms or into his feet, just take a pencil or a paintbrush or whatever you have, a chopstick and just kind of push it in there. Now we're gonna see if we can fit his little legs back on here and we're gonna pin them and then we're gonna hand sew those babies on. Now he's all put together. So what I want to do is trim up the edges of my duck cloth. So we're going to get, don't cut your stitching because that would be really bad, but get as close to it as you can. There we go, he's looking pretty good with his new trim. So as you can see, over time, the duck cloth will fray, so will the canvas. And if you like that, you can keep it, but I'm gonna go ahead and whip stitch around my entire little guy and this will help keep him together. Now, ta-da, look at that. He's even more stitchy and super cute. I also added a little button for his eye. And now I'm gonna take some double-sided tape and put it on a piece of Velcro. If you have the stickable Velcro, that would be even better, but I don't, I'm using what I have on hand. I like to have my pin cushions right next to my sewing machine, so I've put the other piece of Velcro on my sewing machine, and now I can stick him right up there. We'll throw some pins in him, and he'll be all ready to go. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to check out Strumpet Stencils where you could get your very own Stitch Doll Stencils. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.